Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. It's the longer version of the Bohemian Waxwing. It's the first for me as I've never painted a bird in oils before. I usually do this sort of thing in acrylics or coloured pencils or pastels but never oils. I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, if you could uh, check down on the links to see all sorts of things like uh, Instagram, Facebook, where you can get prints of this and other other paintings. And uh, most important, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the lifeblood of the channel. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I usually paint the whole scene in a sort of underpainting crude form first. But with this painting, I've decided to do something slightly different as most of the painting is just background and in that background is some out of focus tree trunks and branches so I'm going to uh, paint all that in in its sort of finished state right from the get-go and I'm just going to make it look out of focus by painting all the various colors first and then blending it with a makeup brush and various soft blenders I've now finished the background trees and branches and let them thoroughly dry overnight. So now the next stage is the next level which is the foreground branches and twigs. The predominant colour on these is close to white because they're covered in frost and maybe a bit of snow, it's hard to tell. So I'm just going to redefine where they are by using a white colour with a little bit of um, French ultramarine and burnt umber just to uh, knock off the whiteness a bit. Now I've finished that pass of redefining all the foreground twigs, I'm going back over them, adding all the detail as I go, which mostly involves um, adding some of the actual twig colour and more of that uh, frosty snow, which is done by establishing the highlights with pure white.
there's some dried up leaves still on the branches so I'm just going to paint the base colour and then later cover them in frost and snow. While I'm letting the base colour of the leaves dry, the only thing left on these foreground branches is the berries themselves. They're quite simple, basically just two colours, a base colour and a slight highlight. I said basically two colours but there is a bit of a deeper shadow in here to define the shapes of the berries better and uh, when they're basically done I can then add some extra little branches that go across the top of these berries. I've now left everything to dry so I can put the final touches on which is adding all the frost and snow bits to these berries and leaves and twigs. Another drying weight and uh, we finally get to do the main focus of the painting, the wax wing. The initial plan was to just cover the whole bird in a base colour but I started at the beak and pretty much finished the, the head before doing what I thought I was going to do and just blocked in the main colours. The way I'm tackling the head is just picking out all the individual colours from the reference photograph mixing them as close as possible and just spotting them in where, where they live. If you uh, do this methodically, the results are quite realistic.
Now the plan is to do what I initially intended and cover the body in just the basic colours and I won't uh, fiddle with any of the details like I did on the head. All the time I'm putting in these uh, basic colours of the body, I'm paying close attention to the direction of all the feathers and I'm making sure my brush marks are in exactly the same direction. I'm now going back over the body with much finer lines and starting to establish the details of the, the feathers. The basic plan with putting in these details is to look closely at the reference photograph, match your colours accurately, that is the most important thing, thin the paint with a solvent, I use white spirit, and keep flicking your eyes between the reference photograph and your painting to make sure you put the details in exactly the right place. Follow those, those rules and you will get a, an exact copy. The final stage of the painting is to look around the whole picture and see if you can spot any little bits you've missed, little bits that need adjusting. And uh, don't do this too much or you'll fiddle it to death. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, please consider a like and subscribe. Check out the uh, links in the description where you can buy prints of this painting and others. And uh, there's Instagram where I show in progress pictures of my latest paintings and other things that are going on. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.